if I'm. All right. My clot in three, two. I'm Hello, this is Pillow Talk Tales, and this is Pieces of Page. Today we have some guests with us. We have Blake, of course, our reoccurring guest. How are you today? Blessed. Okay. We have <laughs> Tiara. Hey, y'all. We have Maya. Hey. And we have Michelle. What up? <laughs> How you ladies doing? Good. I'm doing great. Doing good. Everybody got their face beat hair done? What's going on? <laughs> well, not. Make okay, it, Blake Lawrence, but you got your hair done, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Tierra's in my makeup today, and um, yep, I'm on camera. <laughs> and so, today we're going to talk about uh, makeup. We got Tierra and we got Maya here today. So, Tierra, yes, when did you start doing makeup? Talk to me, talk to me. So, I would say I started dabbling in makeup maybe in 2015. Um, I was in college at the time. I started watching YouTube a lot, Mm -hmm. a lot, a lot, and I kind of just taught myself. What about you, Maya? Well, I started doing makeup in 2016. I was a senior in high school, and I basically, most stuff I learned from my sister, but whatever else I just learned off YouTube. What about you, Michelle? (laughs) So, you know, I don't really get down with makeup too much because I feel like I'm too much of a perfectionist for it not to be in my lane, really. So, um, I started probably when my mama told me that she wasn't paying for me to do my own makeup for crime. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, oh, I think I can do it myself. Um, I went to hair school, so in cosmetology, you kind of learn a little bit of everything. So, just over the years, messing up, seeing old pictures of myself, like, girl, mm-hmm. did you think that was you? Because it wasn't. Mm-hmm. So, um, watching YouTube videos just for hair in general is always a link to something else. So, you look at it and be like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to try it that way. So. Mm-hmm. So y'all would recommend beginners look on YouTube? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. YouTube University. I literally taught myself how yes. to do it off mm-hmm. of YouTube. Especially if you hands on, because mm-hmm. if you look at something and just do it as they do it, then you can probably get it. Probably Definitely. get it down pat. Mm-hmm. So what was the, okay, I'm going to ask y'all individually, what was the hardest part about the, well, okay, I guess what was the challenge doing your makeup? What didn't you get the first time or what took you the longest to do? To me, blending. I'm very heavy-handed. So, um, contouring and once I seen it on my original face, um, especially me having, not to, you know, to my horn, but great skin and very (laughs) pigmented and it's very much like my dad's, I can see where people say when you put on makeup, it takes the the contour or the darkness out of your face. Mm -hmm. So, when I first started, I was putting it on like, oh, let me make this line, you know what I'm saying, back. But to me, brushes are key and starting off some all, you know, light and mm-hmm. adding instead of just going all in and having to come back and take it all off. <laughs> exactly. Maya, what's your hardest thing? Well, I would say the thing that is was the hardest and that I still struggle with would definitely be eye makeup. So, like, um... Wings, for sure. <laughs> mm. All eye makeup, because... Everybody's eyes are different. Mm-hmm. So I see people on YouTube, they eye makeup be all the way on top of their eye, by their eyebrow, but some be down here. So I just be like, well, where do ev- different people eye makeup supposed to go? <laughs> right. So. But your, la- your eyebrows are always cute. So you feel like you mastered that. Yeah, you pretty definitely much that eyebrows. Down yeah. What about you, Tierra? I would definitely say 100% my eyebrows. Now, the shape, I can always get that. Mm-hmm. The concealer to clean up your eyebrows, mm-hmm. I was, it looked like my eyebrows was floating a couple times. Like, <laughs> it was bad. Like, and, and like she said, like, you look back at pictures and you just wonder, like, sis, did you, you, you thought that was okay? Like, well, I, oh, I do that now. I oh, look back. Look back. <laughs> I look back now. But yeah, eyebrows. And I would definitely uh, agree with her and say eyeshadow is like the most challenging thing for everyone across the board. Like you really have to learn different eye shapes and see what flatters people and stuff like that. So, yeah. Well, what made Michelle already got into it? What made her decide to start doing makeup? What made Maya? What made you decide to start doing makeup or at least want to try to do your own? Um, I don't know. 
I just took my sister's eyebrow pencil one day and was like, I'm about to draw these eyebrows on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then I took her concealer, then her brushes, and everything became mine. And I was an aspiring makeup artist. Okay, and what about you? I would say I started doing makeup. Um, I was I was I wasn't in the in the best place in my life, mm-hmm. and makeup kind of was just like a release for me. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh, um, I feel like I'm a creative person. I like to create things. I like mm-hmm. to, you know, dabble in a lot of different um, things: hair, makeup, anything you can think of. I like to dabble in it. So um, I just thought that was like a a takeaway. Like a, it took my mind off of the stuff that I was going through and I was just indulging into makeup and I just found a craft. And I That's liked good. It. You found something healthy to do mm-hmm. with your time. Instead of, Instead yeah. of something like, mm-hmm. you know, substance abuse or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But I can say both of these ladies have done my makeup, Maya and Tiara. Mm-hmm. Maya does a really good natural face. Mm-hmm. She be having you beat. And girl, I was at a cabaret Mm-hmm. Off that makeup you did, all the old heads was on me. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. I'm, I'm Swinny. Thank you. I sis. can't. I don't want to talk to y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Well, who let y'all do their first face? I guess that I said it right. Who let y'all do? Who let y'all do your first face? I guess I should say that. Um, so who was like, oh, can you do my makeup? Or you was like, let me try. Whichever oh, way I, went. I was for sure the the, per- the pusher. <laughs> I was the pusher. Like, oh, I need to try to see if I can, you know, match complexions. That's mm-hmm. the hardest part to me when you do when you're doing somebody else's makeup. Um, but I think it was in college again, and I think it was one of my friends, either Simone or um, this girl named Taikisha. One of them were very very nice mm-hmm. for me to just, you know, try mm-hmm. and see if I could do it. But that I started doing that and then I never did anybody else's face for a really long time. So I came. So yeah. I came. So I came? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Who who was your first person? Sis over here. Uh. Michelle. Yeah. You you was my second person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But she was really the pusher. She was really like, <laughs> Okay, if you gonna do this then you come on, you need to practice. You need to get some experience and I was like, Okay, so yeah, she was the first person. She was definitely the was second. Who was your first person? But, uh, Me. Oh. Girl. Okay, <laughs> one, two. Um, no, but I think with Maya <laughs> and wanting to start makeup, I think that she found something that she liked. And with us being in the type of business where everybody know how to do something, mm-hmm. she was like, oh, okay, well, I like makeup. So this is what I'm going to do to stay in my own lane but still be able to be in the shop one day and still be able to, you know, contribute. I feel like I do all y'all here, like, oh, well, I can do the makeup. Like, we're going to start this, you know what I'm saying? My first person doing hair, though, was y'all braiding, but, like, in actual styles and things like that was probably Stephanie, and I believe I was, like, 13. Oh, you was young. Yeah, so that was, like, 16 years ago, and that was when... People were wearing all their hair clothes, then no closures. Mm-hmm. I had to try to lay it flat. It was still nine ninety nine pack hair, <laughs> and sis was making it work for months and months at a time. And I just went from there, going into hair school. My mother actually probably was one of the last people. She didn't believe I could. She was like, uh. I don't know, and back then, sculpture of ponytails, and I remember being like, I can do it. Like, I sit in the shop for 12 hours a day. Like, just let me do it. Mm-hmm. Sculpture her own up, and she was out like, oh, my daughter can gnaw, because you didn't want to let me cut <laughs> your hair. Like, I'm good. Don't worry about it. This ain't an every week thing. So, after y'all and actually styling, mm-hmm. probably my friends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, so, where did you, where do you want to take your hair? Where did, like, what's your long-term goal? Um, well, you know, now me and my mom have the shop, and I am trying to move to Atlanta next year. Um, I don't want to jump into my own salon going out there like I would want to be when someone else is, but my goal has always been um, seeing, like, not necessarily downtown, but, like, West Grand Boulevard houses and businesses. Mm-hmm. I definitely want wherever I end up at a house to be a salon. I want, you know, all the stylists had their own room, the basement to be massages Mm -hmm. or pedicures or what have you, you know, kitchen for wine, living room, actual waiting area. So when I get somewhere settled because I know I don't want it to be here, then that's what I'm going to shoot for. Mm -hmm. Good. It is. Mm -hmm. Maya, where do you want to take me? And she got to go wherever I go because (laughs) I need a makeup artist in there. Wow. (laughs) 
So I don't know because I never really know how the whole doing makeup thing works. Like whether you work out your house or you got your own place, you know. Because then it's like, well, if I got my own place, then I'm going to have to hire other makeup artists to work in there with me. And that just seemed like a lot. <laughs> but it's okay. So I'd rather to travel know. and do makeup. celebrities makeup. I feel like I can reach that. Okay. Mm-hmm. You just gotta That's keep job. on working, keep on working, keep on doing my face, you know. Every time yes, I dance yes. this. What about you, Sierra? Um, I definitely wanna be like more of a influencer. Um, more of on the influencing side, uh, when it comes to makeup. Uh, I don't want to be a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I just want to be in the know of, you know, all the makeups that's launching. I want to let people know what to get, what not to get, what's good for your skin. If you got oily skin, I want to be the educator. Okay. Mm, Okay. Like, I don't want to, I don't, I mean, like she said, it is hard trying to figure out if you want to do um, makeup on your own in someone's house, which I do now. Like, if people hit me up and ask to do my um, do their makeup, I do it at my house, and I don't have a problem with it. Nobody has ever complained. So if that's something you want to do, I, I would suggest you do it. And okay. being, um, being in the shop, it's, it's a lot of chaos. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and then you have to have a clientele, like mm-hmm. a steady clientele, you, you know, to pay that, that blueprint. rent, you know? Right. So um, I just want to be on the influencing side. Okay. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. So, do anybody have a favorite blogger, makeup blogger, or somebody that you watch all the time? So, for new makeup looks or hair I'm, looks? I do. I Like I said, I'm all the way into, um, like, YouTube, and I do want to start, like, I do want to come out with my own brand eventually, and my own makeup brand, mm-hmm. and um, I do watch Makeup Shayla. If you're into makeup, I feel like you kind of know her. Mm-hmm. Um, she's on YouTube. She's on Instagram. Um, I love her because she's into makeup, and she's had so many collaborations with top brands. Um, and she's also um, she's also into fitness, and that's something that I also want to dabble into. Um, so, yeah, makeup Shayla. What about you, Maya? Well, I tend to watch Aaliyah J a lot. Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah, that's kind of my go-to. Mm-hmm. Michelle, you got anybody? I don't. You know, I'm very sporadic, and I think because I've been doing hair so long, um, when new techniques come out, I am YouTube and Google Queen, so it's not anybody specific, but I'm never for telling anybody I can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not, no, I can't do it. You tell me what it is, you send me a picture, send me the link. I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to click on all 10 videos up under it to watch it, and I'm going to figure it out, because if I see it, I can probably do it. So I'm not a big name person I think that it's too many techniques out for me to follow one person like I need to see how everybody does it and see which way I like so I don't really dwell on one person per se I follow a couple of people on Instagram and they show like bits and pieces but not like for YouTube videos I do like Alonzo mm-hmm. um and I just followed a new girl I believe she's from Ohio but I can't even recall her name she just is on my feed a lot so I look at her but not anybody specific. Well, I don't do hair and I don't do makeup, but <laughs> I follow Alonzo and Tay for the mm-hmm. hair. And then I follow for makeup Aaliyah J. I don't know. I don't really get into some. I mean, I follow Dele or whatever her name. She's from Detroit. Um, mm. But I don't know. I don't know why I follow those people. You follow us? like I follow y'all, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I don't know why I follow nobody because I don't know how to do anything mm-hmm. but my live not popping enough oh your live not popping enough no it's not oh. <laughs> I don't know why I need the girl I feel so old <laughs> I done had like three followers well what's the popular foundation nowadays what y'all wearing what y'all what's, what's the best foundation even if y'all ain't wearing it tonight what's the best foundation so I can know well I've, <coughs> I've tried a couple different foundations but the foundation that I'm wearing tonight is MAC I do like MAC foundation because I like the way it look on my skin. It don't look all harsh. It looks natural, glowy, cute. So right. that's what I've been rocking with lately, MAC. What about you, Tia? I, okay, as far as drugstore, I would say Milani has some beautiful foundation. I'm wearing it now. Um, their foundation is drugstore, so a lot of people kind of stray away from drugstore, and I think people should go towards the drugstore. Um mm-hmm. Milani is a beautiful, and I believe it's black-owned, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then as far as, um, like, higher brands, I think this foundation runs for, like, 40 to $45. I would say NARS. 
Mm-hmm. I heard she them. just somebody just wrote I that in my thing. Too. Like she said, Smashbox and Nars. Maybe. Nars. Smashbox is with this girl I watch on Instagram. She used that. I want to get some. Mm-hmm. And it's how much money? I like Nars. How much? Mm-hmm. How much is it? Nars is like forty to forty five dollars. I think. But where do they sell NARS at? Sephora. Mm -hmm. Okay. Online. I don't think they sell it in Ulta yet. I don't. No, yes, they do sell NARS in Ulta. So uh, Sephora and Ulta. I don't even do makeup. I do think that MAC is more... First of all, I was raised off of it. So I think that's why Maya has started off (laughs) with MAC. But I do Mm -hmm. think that they are more... um, I don't even know what word I'm using. But you can alter them a little bit more. I feel like a lot of the like drugstore dries faster to me or um, like it's not necessarily not a good coverage but if you put on some concealer and it's there it's there and you got to start over I feel like a lot of MACs and their creams and their products they blend better they have a more mistake proof <laughs> line to me like mm-hmm. you can learn and touch up and brush out and refigure it out opposed to ones that are on a cheaper end that to me, is more semi-permanent. Like, if it's there, sis, you there, and you got to start over if it's not working for you. So, A beginner like me needs to know that. Okay. <laughs> what about highlighters? Because, girls, we all love highlighter. That's, that's if you what's not the popular... rocking Fendi, I mean, Fenty, what you, what you rocking? Whoa. So, that's the popular... Everybody, everybody... So, you don't like my little highlighter? <laughs> no, I don't even have on Fenty right now. But I'm just saying support a sister. That's, that's all I'm saying. I okay, so we need, to, we need to... <laughs> Put our monies to some fancy. <laughs> I like her lip gloss though, actually. Oh yes. But I wow. haven't brought any, but I like it. <laughs> How you like it? Oh, a little friend of mine <laughs> had some and I just, you know, used it. So I'm gonna buy some of that. Mm-hmm. But okay, so I do I like Mac and I do like Fenty. So I'm learning about that. Blake, you gonna buy you some Mac and some Fenty? Or you I don't do makeup. Like, don't but I'll <laughs> I'll put on some MAC lipstick. I mean, I got lipstick and lip glosses. Blake but wears I, a lot of MAC lipstick. And lip glosses. And it'd be ugly, oh. to be exact. No, just that's not... What I just bought was a MAC. You knew that was a <laughs> MAC. So, <laughs> <not even sure. laughs> so we know, since we're talking about hair and makeup, we know men... Oh, Lord. Here we <laughs> go. <laughs> they, don't, they don't like makeup. <clears throat> so they say. So if your man tell you, I don't want you to wear makeup ever anymore y'all beauty bloggers and um beauty influencers and makeup artists what y'all gonna say what y'all gonna do what's y'all reaction i mean honestly if you my boyfriend at that point you already know i wear makeup so Mm -hmm. what if it's your boo if it's my boo you have to say that on the first date (laughs) this girl somebody gotta go (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, don't answer, me. don't answer me, cause you know I hit the cancel button yeah. real quick. You gotta okay? go. It's it's really nothing that we can really, especially talk not about. that's something you have a passion for. Because if I have a passion for it, then you gonna want to do it on yourself, or you want to try. You gonna tell me I can't? Mm-hmm. Like that's like telling you don't get your hair cut no more. You, <laughs> you straight. You don't need it. Right. Yeah. Like if it's if it's something that you know I'm really invested in, mm-hmm. why would you tell me to stop it? Mm-hmm. Right. Especially if I'm starting to make money off. Boy, mm-hmm. come on now. Not that you got to stop doing it on yourself, but, I mean, doing it on other people, but he just don't want you to wear it. I'm going to, I'm, okay, so That's, I'm the person who advertises me. Right. So true. why would I stop wearing makeup because you're uncomfortable with it? Right. And so, you're your own guinea pig and your own walking advertisement. advertisement. So mm-hmm. if you can't look at me and see I do it because somebody don't want me to do it, then how would you expect me to do it on you? I tell people <laughs> all the time, don't look at me. Look at them who are around me because I don't comb my hair. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? But in all honesty, like, if I can't see you represent your stuff, I don't want you to do hello, mine. Hello, hello. True. So for Blake Lawrence, who does not wear makeup, what if your man said, yeah, baby, I want you to start wearing makeup when we go out and stuff? You know what? I just seen, y'all know uh, Wife Swap. I don't know why it just came back on, but man... He swapped the wife, and she was like, he basically told her, like, you have to wear makeup. And she, like, she was, was she he, was, he was a white, and she was black. And she, like, wear, like, was she, she like, well, my husband, she was very cute. She was like, my husband likes me this way. And he basically, like, in other words, well, my wife wear makeup, so you know they have to do what they want them to do for, like, the first week. Mm-hmm. So I feel like for me, though, I'll probably put the same way, like, I don't wear makeup for real, so... If only if I'm going out and doing something I want to and I choose mm-hmm. to do that, that's when I'm going to do it. But mm-hmm. otherwise, you can't tell me what to do. I don't you, listen to no man. I'm sorry. You got a couple of things chasing over there, don't you? Huh? <coughs> oh, I got two. So what about wigs? Your man say, I ain't feeling a wig, baby. I, you got to stop wearing them. Now me, my man has already told me that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still wearing my wig today. 
<laughs> but what y- what y'all ladies gonna do? Um, I I love to be versatile with my hair. I tell any guy that tries to come to me, I'm going to look like a different girl every week. That's just me. Um, I like wigs. I look. I like braids. I like half up, half downs. I like anything that is flattering to me. So if you can't deal with a different girl every week, you cannot deal with TT. That's just what it is. I think the ideal thing is, though, not a, oh, I'm going to do it or I'm not going to do it. It's all about compromise. Like, I can see if you say, oh, babe, we're going to such and such this time. Can you wear your real hair? <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to be like, oh, okay, I guess I can wear the real hair. Right. But you know when we leave, I'm putting my wig back on Period. because <laughs> that just is what it is. So mm-hmm. I don't think it's a yes or no because you can't tell these niggas, oh, well, I don't want you to go play basketball no more. <laughs> right, or you can't go to the field. Yeah, no you more. can't wear them. You can't wear them Nike jogging pants no more. You got to be ones. like, man, we the going to a place. I tell my please boyfriend that. not wear these jogging pants <laughs> and wear some real pants because he not about to be like, oh, throw the whole label away. It's not happening. Mm-hmm. No, I agree with that. So my what I do is I try to like get it sold down sometimes. Get it sold <laughs> down now, or I wear my natural hair because the fellas swear they love your natural hair. So swear they the do. question is, if they want you to stop wearing your wigs. Yeah, they say I don't want you to wear wigs anymore. At this point, it's a that's whole all I've been up. wearing. That's all I've been wearing. <laughs> Frontal wigs, weaves. So at that, you don't. They don't love you. And Michelle, Michelle, <laughs> <laughs> you dropped my phone with time. But uh, no, nah, they he definitely got to go with me. Because I don't, I don't even wear my real hair like that no more. I present myself how I'm going to be around you. <laughs> like, so if you ain't like me when you see if me, you, you ain't like, like me. Right, if you see me in the club or you see me out somewhere mm-hmm. and I'm dialed up, you can't tell me not to dial up when you see me after that. Well, like, I actually, I prefer to be men not dialed up. So mm-hmm. you know exactly so you know what, what you're getting. You get. oh, yeah. Straight up. I mean, no, I'm, I'm just I, I just too. prefer it. I just prefer. I hate when I meet a man. And I'm all cute because I just. I mean, not that I'm not cute. Period. Mm-hmm. But I'm all made up you and done up, and then it's top, like top. Yeah. I already know you about to see me looking gangster the next day. So <laughs> my little I don't even, <laughs> jailbreak. <laughs> yeah, I don't even be liking niggas to see me dressed up and stuff like that. I'd rather like play it cool before mm-hmm. you gonna play the fool. Like, yeah, that's how I look all the time. So then when you see so, me, yeah, so when you see me turn up, right, you like, right, like damn, right. it's me. That's how I be at work. I'd be looking any type of way, but when I stepped out the other night with my cousin and I got back to work the next day, everybody was like, I didn't even, you know, I didn't know. And I was like, yeah, you know, this me out of work. Y'all know. Tierra know. I come to work looking like anything. So when I look cute, I know that I look cute because everybody mm-hmm. tell me because I be looking ugly most of the time. Or people tell me like, oh, you clean up nice. Who be saying that to you? <laughs> anonymous. Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> but I do get that because I be looking like anything, so... Girl, I didn't walk down. They didn't be like, dang, she probably looked bad if she was dressed. Like, dang, so would I look not just cute? I, you know. Right. I'm, I'm chilling. But it's back. cool. If you can't accept me at my worst, hunty. You not getting me at my best. Say but that's, that's, where you get, that's where you get your most compliments, though. When you not right. looking your best. No, yeah. When you not mm-hmm. looking your best. and you Well, you think you ain't looking your best. And they, they like that. Yeah, know. they do. Girl, they bad. Do. And I be like, I don't even want to talk to you. Because if you talk <laughs> to me while I look like a crackhead, it is a wrap for you, okay? Because you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Has any any of my ladies is wear wigs or not even just a wig or had a scarf on and you had the neck braids under it <laughs> and you was having intercourse and your wig or scarf came off? Any of my any of y'all experience See, like that? I said, you know, <laughs> I present myself. <laughs> so like, I if I if I if I'm talking to a dude, you're gonna know that I wear wigs. Mm-hmm. You're gonna know that I have gel braids under my wigs. <laughs> like that's just I that's know, just but we in the mood, and you just gonna I'm not ruin gonna snatch it, it off. But if, if it's something happening, if something happening, and we you know doing a do in my wigs, my slip, scarf for sure. You know, I'ma for sure let that thing slip, but then I'ma <laughs> switch I'm up a position or something and be like, or we just be naked. It off. If I'm gonna be naked, the hair gotta come off too. Whoa. Because <laughs> oh yeah, she don't what? care if you Whoa. come to her house. T- booty, sis. <laughs> all day, and I just feel like here is a part of your outfit. Like it, unless we like new, fresh. Like I'm trying to be like you don't know me like that or something. But bad, okay? Because I'm in the shower wetting my hair because I gotta wash it, and mm-hmm. it's just it is what it is. Mm-hmm. You take it or you leave it. Mm. Yeah, you know I don't do a lot of wigs, so I don't, I don't have them type of accidents. You did have that wig for your birthday day. <laughs> I did. I did. That was, did. That was a lot of hair. That was it a lot of hair. Off. It was. <laughs> but they weren't even here, so. Oh, so you ain't, ha- you ain't had no mishaps. Yeah, I ain't had no mishaps with that one. 
Mm. Mm, speaking of Ooh, mishaps. Courtney, nice. Hey. Speaking of, follow me back, Courtney. <laughs> speaking of mishaps, so let's dig into condom usage. Oh, hold on. Did we flip a script or did we flip a script? <laughs> we flipped the script. It is Pillow Talk Tales, ladies. I was just warming y'all up, but oh. the real the real key is that okay. we're here for Pillow Talk it's Tales. Tea time. So, you know, first of all, I, I I don't I don't know if I should ask this question, ladies. I don't know either. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Already. You my ladies, are, are y'all using condoms as as y'all should? I'll be I'll break the ice. I am not. I was gonna say, well, I'm about to be 30. So at this point I feel like if I trust you or if I'm sleeping with you and I can put my mouth on you, then that's really kind of out the window. After, not not initially, but like after we establish, like, oh, we talking, we in a relationship, we exclusive, then you shouldn't be sleeping with nobody else. So after that, then we can break the, the barrier, break the, raw break dog. the ice. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, who, who, who would like to share next? Well, <laughs> I didn't been with my boyfriend for three years. So, no, we do not, you know. Sometimes, very, very, very off, less often than we should, but we don't. Okay, so the question was, um, are we using protection when we have sex? Um, I am currently not having sex. Like, <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend, and I'm, I'm not talking to anyone that I'm, like, deeply involved in to be having sex. Um, so I'm not using condoms, but... When I when I am dating someone and it gets to that level, I'm definitely going to start out with condoms. If we venture off into a relationship after right. so long, you know, we might stop using those condoms. But, you know, protection is the best thing. Okay, guys. Protection is the best thing. Mm-hmm. So then my next question leads to, hold on, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you, you know. Answer. You know, um, Anthony does call me PG-13, and I don't go with the things. But I will say, also, just like you, I am not in a relationship. You want me to look at this? Ooh. I'm, I'm not in a relationship. Pow, pow. Oh, somebody gets smacked up I'm, tonight. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single, so I'm not having sex with anyone. Um, and I don't really plan on it because I really am not ready mentally. Ooh, y'all okay, thank you for mature. sharing. Thank you for sharing. So then, since we're talking about condom usage, let's go into um, what comes with not using condoms. So, Kids. T- true, but STDs, STIs. So my question then is, so, and I wish we had fellas here because I feel like those are the people who had the issue. But say you meet a guy, it's week, it's week two. And you tell do you do you think you will be willing to say, hey, I want us to both go get tested together, or both go get tested so that before we have sex? Yes, I wouldn't, yes. I wouldn't yes. have a problem with that. I've never done that, but I will. If I have. I feel like it should be needed. It should be something that's necessary, especially if somebody new. I ain't even dealt with you before. Even right. if somebody you know, and y'all mm-hmm. stop messing with each other now, y'all messing with each other again. Mm-hmm. I would do it. I mean, I wouldn't be offended. I if he ain't, I wouldn't be offended, but I feel like if you even want to take that step with me, definitely say we both want to get tested. Together. But I'm willing for you to bring me back some paperwork for me to not feel like I need to be there because I feel like if I even need to go and hold your hand, like, did you not want to go? Or, you know what I'm saying? Do I not trust that you're going to bring me back the correct information? But I think that's not for like 19, 20 years old. I think possibly in high school, I've had a boyfriend all my life, but. Possibly in high school, I probably would have went with it. But as someone older, if we start messing around, I feel like for you to say, hey, I went to the doctor last week, this, this, and this, here go my papers, I'm clear. I'm good with not having been there holding your hand and feeling like that's the only way I'm going to get the results. Yeah, I mean, you don't got to be there. I'm just, I'm really just concerned with, I just think that men would be like, what? You want to go get tested ever together. What? I think the together part, like Michelle was saying, it would be the issue for the dude. Oh, together. So you don't trust me? You don't think I'm going to go? Yeah, but dudes just don't be making, like, I don't really think you're going to go better. (laughs) That's that's the problem. I I I feel like you tell, if you tell a man, okay, I want you to go get tested, they be like, they go either trip or they be like, okay. And they're not going to do it regardless. I don't know. You got to go with them. Week two, a nigga not going to want to go. 
You're going to be like, what? Yeah, like, we just started we talking. Just start- why? Yeah, but week two, you're going to want to fuck. So why not week two? Mm-hmm. If to do that, let's go ahead and just handle that. And why then we not week one? I'm not saying no. I'm just saying maybe week one you ain't want to. Maybe you had to fill them out. I'm just, mm-hmm. Nah, day. but he knew he wanted to, so why not make that proposal? <laughs> I get True, it. but men not gonna men not gonna do. You know how many men it are shouldn't be a problem to doctor. The, it it shouldn't. Be a it shouldn't be not one. And problem I wish for we you had to go men. to these little free clinics and get you a little. A the little topic test. is asking a man within the first couple of weeks or whenever y'all decide y'all want to have sex to go get tested with you or to go get tested and bring you back paperwork before y'all have sex. So, pretty much, I've never asked someone to go get tested with me. I just. I just tell them, hey, I got tested, and that's kind of my, my hint that mm-hmm. you need to go get tested. I don't understand why you... I don't know. I go get tested every time I go to the doctor. I go for my eye, mm-hmm. I'm getting you tested. Should. I go for my toenail, I'm getting tested. Right. I, why not? I'm there. Let's get I tested. I get my depot shot every three months. You might as well give me the whole thing. Yeah, that's that's like, like, what you want to do? Mm-hmm. Everything. The whole mm-hmm. package. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'll be wanting Need it all. Everything, mm-hmm. pretty much. Don't don't slip out on that HIV too, because y'all know yep. that's kind of separate. You know, right. sometimes y'all it is. y'all insurance don't pay for that. Nope. Okay, Slide me up. but pay that money, <laughs> pay that money for them HIV tests. Or too. don't pay that money. They still Go gotta to do it regardless. Good. Something yeah. and get it for first. Something true. I tap in. Do it Hold every. On. I do it every time, but. I think the last couple of times I got tested, I didn't. And that's because now I go to Henry Ford, and they send you all the way somewhere else to do it. Mm-hmm. And that's very, very annoying, especially when I'm sneaking away from work. Trying to go <laughs> <Low> to <doctor. key. laughs> I don't have time for that. Like, what? Mm-hmm. But, so, we got down packed that we are using condoms when necessary, not if it's a long-term relationship, and that... We are okay with going to get tested. It's the men that I'm really worried about. We don't have none in the buildings today. But let's, while we're talking about men, mm-hmm. men got to stop getting rejected and turning up about it. Do anybody hey. got any experiences getting having to reject somebody and they turn up on you? Mm-hmm. Well, let's be real mad. I don't be getting it. Anybody got something? More bitches in the book than uh, <laughs> the dictionary, I mean, the urban one. I feel like. I feel like I've definitely been called out my name, like a, mm-hmm. a bitch or something like that, but never have I been afraid for my life or afraid that a person was going to come mm-hmm. after me or do something to me. But it is some really, really crazy men out for here real. who just cannot take rejection. And my thing is, if you approaching me like, hey, mama, what's up? I thought my mom named me Tierra. Number <laughs> one. Um, number two, you know, um, that's not... Like, if you, I just feel like if you look at a person, you should know how to approach. I know that I don't walk around looking like a, hey, mama, what's up? I walk around mm-hmm. looking like a, hey, ma'am, you know, or a, hey, See, young lady, how are a, you? I feel you. I don't get, Me I either. should say offended, but I don't, I don't be tripping off of that. I just, I don't know, because I'm not mean. So I never tell a guy, like, I'm straight on you, I ain't interested. I just, be, I'll smile and walk away pretty much, is what I do. And the time that I did that, this nigga damn near wanted to fight me in the club. Like, he like, you over there laughing? <laughs> shit, like, that shit funny? I'm, I'm like, dying. what? Like, I'm just chilling in the cut. He like, so I'm like, I told my friend, like, yeah, we need to walk away. So I was, I'm walking away. He like, yeah, you should have walked away. You better walk away. I'm Ugh. like, first of all, you looking like a ham. You Big was looking ham. like a ham before you did that. We just met. Why now you so looking like a ham. <laughs> what? All I did was I was just like, hmm. You know, like, I just, I didn't want to say yay or nay. I just wanted to let him know, like, you. I'm I feel like interested. body language is enough. You mm-hmm. knew that I wasn't interested by how I handled myself. I, Definitely. But maybe I should have just said, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not interested. Because that's yeah, what he said. because they take your niceness for, and mm-hmm. that's why you. Uh, that's what he led with. He led with, all you had to do was say no. Yeah. And I'm like, you just talked to my friend. You just tried to talk to my friend. What did you think I was going to say? Oh, right. well, shit. I'm second. What's up? What's no, up? No, you <laughs> ain't future. So this, I've never, ever had a bad encounter. Somebody on my um, people be getting real fussy in the DMs said, when they get rejected. Somebody on my live said, "No, nah, um, females get real rude." He said, "Females get real rude," and they be like, "No, nah, you good bum ass nigga." I ain't never heard <laughs> me and my friends. I ain't because never heard sister. no female say that with me. And if she yeah, say that uh-huh. with me, we fighting when we get in the car because you almost he got us jumped. He we said, girls be like, no, nah, we good, you bum-ass nigga. When have you ever right. heard somebody say that? But, just like right. this person on my you last You with the wrong crowd, Right, boo-boo. those are actually boys, not men. Anybody okay. mature and grown would never throw a fit after being rejected. Okay. And I yeah. agree. 
Right. But I've had people like Greenfield Market, you know it be oh, Lord. <laughs> Any hood But I've store. always had encounters like, dang, should I talk to him? Like, he's super nice. Like, I don't even know. Like, I know, thank you, somebody going in the grocery store and came back out and they've helped me put my groceries in the car, bought flowers out the little middle door part, and I turn around and they on my seat. Dang. Like, oh, that's cute. You said, what's the name of the place? They was on your seat. Greenfield Market, girl. Puritan like, and Greenfield. Oh, or, like, even people on Instagram that I've maybe, yeah, like, yeah. met once and been like, you know, oh, you know, no, it just wasn't, or I didn't like the vibe. Like, they still be like, like, you didn't give me a chance. Like, you know, please, and I, I don't want to say it's my vibe because I don't think that I'm super mean, but I think that I'm very stern or mm-hmm. when I say something, you kind of know, like, that is what it is unless something, like, miraculously changed my mind. So, for you to get an attitude really ain't going to go nowhere with me because we both going to be on 10. You know right. what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I don't take disrespect, but I think a lot of women, like, put off that shyness or that to where niggas feel like they can get by it with you and feel like it's okay. Oh, really? But I never really had a horrible, I never had a horrible, horrible experience with any man off rejecting them. Like, I feel like they might be weird a little bit afterwards, mm-hmm. yeah. but they ain't never been, been, then got bucked with me and wanted to fight me. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't never had that. Yeah. But boy wanted to scrap. I didn't even know if I wanted to be there no more. And it actually was in Royal Oak at Mr. B. No, let me stop lying. I don't know. I don't know. Wow, what? Wow. Okay, so we're going to leave off with Aisha Curry. Has everybody heard what she has said? Oh, oh, don't get me started. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with nothing it. she said. I, just, I do agree that, that she shouldn't have <laughs> said it in that setting. But I think that... Well, why? It was the real table talk. It was the real table talk, red, but red, I'm sorry, table talk. it was the real table talk. But you gotta <laughs> think. I mean, I guess we don't care about what people, how people view it. I don't think she meant no harm, Me and I either. think no matter whether you have a man or not, you gonna want to turn his. Mm-hmm. You gonna want you just like Attention. don't niggas cheat and say, oh, I wanted to see if I still had it. They do. That's one in the they same. Do. I've had an ex tell me, oh, you only told me I was cute when I got my hair cut in. She was telling me stuff you wasn't telling me no more. Boy, bye. Okay? He sound like a bro. Listen, okay. listen, listen. But this I is my... feel like women... Oh, sorry, go ahead. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, so <laughs> this is my thing. Aisha, my thing is, I do get it. I get it. You want to turn heads, but it's a, it's one thing for you to turn heads when you walk into a room. That's your presence. You know what I'm saying? That's your confidence. You have to exude that. But why do you want a man coming up to you Hollering at you just for you to deny him. Did she say that? Did she though? say that? Because I don't, I didn't, I don't, she, I didn't watch no. it in full. She did not say she that. Didn't. But y'all talking about turn heads. I'm sure people look at her daily. She's a she's a beautiful woman. She's not that cute to me. She's um, not that she cute. cute. But she's cute married to, to an NBA player, mm-hmm. and her status went up, sis. Yeah, I feel winner. like people just don't say nothing to her just out of respect. You got these. Exactly. She carries herself Thank like you. a woman who Two, don't want she has people a lot of, to. Exactly. Yeah. So why would you be in a crowd with people who know you're married to this man mm-hmm. and want them to holler at you or, or look at you? The only thing I had a problem with is that I didn't think it was that serious. To see that she was kind of a little, to me, teary-eyed, I'm like, you a little sensitive about the I don't think she was because all, she couldn't have been teary-eyed. No, she, she, she was. That. She, she, she was. Yeah. Little, like, she she has seemed little, a little bit me. like she had wanted to cry, but maybe that's because, like, she feel insecure about herself a little but bit. But I don't think it's necessarily insecure. I feel like just like how everybody is basing her comment, now she lives in his shadow. Mm. And it's something to feel like, oh, I didn't gave a person two kids and I didn't gave him, you know sure. what I'm saying, um, not stability, but what I'm trying to say, you know, faithfulness and loyalty mm-hmm. and all of this Longevity. stuff. And I know he liked me and I know he loved me and I know he think I'm cute. But, and I, I compared it on my Instagram story to the Martin episode when he took his ring off and they was at the gym. And it wasn't that he wanted to get on somebody to tell them no or this, this, and this. His whole, his whole thing was, I wanted to see if I still got it. Like, I'm not worried about you right, liking like or I'm loving good. me and I don't want to try to talk to anybody and I don't want to, you know, have to deny anybody. But nobody wants to walk out the house and... Especially her, somebody who doesn't even probably see their husband or the only person who was telling them that they cute or how much they like them or attract them and nobody tried to talk to them. It's kind of like, dang, was I cute today? I walked yeah. around a whole week and ain't nobody said nothing. Like, yeah. right. I know they're probably doing it out of respect for him, but as a woman, not even being a chip on your shoulder or any type of validation, but like, oh, I got up today and I wasn't just a mama or I wasn't just Steph Curry wife yeah. or I wasn't just like, I look cute when I walked out and I was at the store and they're like, oh, hey, even though it's just a, hey, like you said, you do and be like, okay, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I pe- think people took it to the extreme, especially all these young niggas like, oh, well, if he got this much money and this, this, and this, I don't stand a chance with a female. Money don't have anything to do with a woman 
remaining in herself like, I know that I am beautiful and I know that I'm this and I know that I'm that. When you walk out of somewhere, everybody deserves to take somebody's presence or what have you. I have had, I know we were talking about going out and looking crazy. Like, it don't matter what you look like. It makes somebody, you feel good regardless. Yeah. Like, is, and that's all else, it is in the back. Nice. I have had people talk to me and then got run on the phone and call my boyfriend like, mm-hmm. mm, you done been at work all day. Wait till you see me because I got to be cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Such and such. You know what I'm saying? And right. that be that. And that's the end of it. Like, people just took it way too far. Way too so, far. A lot of people have been saying, you know, she she craves, like, a, a person to look at her. But people on here been saying, you know, she not going to turn heads the way she wants to because of how conservative she is. She dressed very conservative she's a, also. she's a very conservative woman, and you carry but, yourself as a wife. You carry yourself as a as a mother. You you carry yourself that but way. But I feel so like why that should have been their clear from, inclination that that is not how she meant it. That's how people perceive it. You can't fought somebody for how you perceive what they're saying. I feel like that's not what she meant. I don't think she meant she wanted niggas to be like, damn, baby, da 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 I think she, she wanted to be like, yeah, yeah like, oh, compliment. you look, you know what I'm saying? You look nice. Or, you know, even for people, like, I feel like it's always appreciation or somebody stating something to her because she's Steph Curry's wife. It's right. never about her. It's never, oh, if she wasn't married to him, like, she would be a nice person, da 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 It's always a lot going him, him, him. She do. Yeah, I know she do. But mm-hmm. if she wasn't married to him, would she? No, exactly. she would not. Mm-mm. So her basing somebody giving her some validation or saying that she looks nice is a step outside of her marriage because she's still a person outside of that. If they got divorced tomorrow, mm-hmm. was she saying, yes, dang, do anybody like me? Nobody ever <laughs> says anything. Nobody ever. It's always based off him. And the fact that she's not on Instagram naked or she's not on Instagram this, and then you should know that that's not the attention she wants. That's not what she's that's saying. What I'm, I'm like. Mean- it, it I'm just... mad I didn't get that on candy. But, yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> but I also feel like she really is stemmed from her saying, like, hoes be on my nigga all the time. Like, He's all the NBA time. Player. He is. But just, so I just feel like it's it's double hurt. Like, okay, <laughs> hoes be all over him. You know Nobody over the, me. You it do come with the territory. territory. But if hoes is all over my nigga, like, and nobody was I, checking for me, that would make me feel worse than if. He was not, nobody was checking for him. You, do I, I find it hard to believe that nobody is checking for her. People is checking for her. People, for her. people, people think she's a dream she, wife. She's a she's a nice but woman. But a dream wife. Y'all keep saying it. A dream but out of wife. Respect, they I don't want think anybody should say anything has. to her. I don't think they should say anything to her publicly. But we not with this lady when we walk around and probably, people are probably like, oh, where he at? Where her husband at? Where he? Right. You know what I'm saying? And not looking at her. You know what I'm saying? Everybody waiting for him to say something. But I feel like any real man, I'd be like, oh, shit. I'd be wanting to look at her too. Like, you know what I'm saying? No guy wants to feel like, and it, it's sad to say, nobody want that woman. Or don't nobody feel like she's beautiful. Very they want to feel like mm-hmm. they got a trophy right. or they got something somebody to want that they can't. You right. know what I'm saying? So at some point, it's nothing for him to say. I agree. I so agree. So another thing, this is so this is my thing with her. She has to understand what environment she's in. Mm-hmm. She has to understand that she's no longer walking down the streets mm-hmm. of the store. She's no exactly. longer pumping her gas at so the it's gas very, station. Very it's very seldom that, that, that she's going to get run into you, you like know that. What I'm right. Saying? right. Like most of the time when she's out and about, she's with her husband. Mm-hmm. Most of the time when she's out and about, yeah. she's Aisha Curry, mm-hmm. and we know you as a wife and a mother. Right. So why would a man disrespect? her husband and mm-hmm. come to her and say, Oh, you look real nice today. That's not mm-hmm. most of the time if somebody coming up to you yeah, giving you a compliment, they gonna, you know, wanna talk to you, get your number or something. They can't do that with her. Mm-hmm. So it's just like But I feel like people took it all out of context and I think the words that she used, like you see it, saying that whole stutter herself, sometimes I think when people get emotional and they start talking they they say it before they think. So mm-hmm. it's not necessarily what she may have went if she could have wrote it down and wrote a script and sat down and had a discussion to explain it. It was just like, oh, well, in my feelings, this is how yeah, I she feel. Said what was and on she her just heart. said it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, so a lot of people saying, like, if it was reversed and a man saying that, then it the would, woman it would, would be go a crazy. problem. I would smack I my your teeth out. I wouldn't. Because I feel like if don't nobody go out and talk to you, what is you not dressed? You don't get you ain't keeping your hair cut. Mm-hmm. Because I have been in places with my boyfriend and I was younger. But I used to always be like, oh, we about to walk in. I'm going with my girls, too. Let's see who can get the most numbers. Mm-hmm. And he used to always be like, you only getting them because you're a girl. Girls don't come up to gas, like, such mm-hmm. and such and such. Like, insecurity in a relationship would make you feel like it would be a problem. Because if we ain't here with two different groups of people and somebody talk to you, I want to be like, mm, they always trying to talk to you the high in the night. And then we walking out together. 
<laughs> Period. I agree. I, agree. I mean, I, I like that aspect. Maybe I'm going to have to go ahead and do that because I almost screwed up my nigga in the club this weekend. So <laughs> maybe I'm going to have to go ahead and try that out. But I want to thank all you ladies for coming. Bye. No problem, sis. Okay, and if we have a little bit more time, you ladies could just give your um, social medias that you want to share. Okay, I am Tierra. Um, I am on YouTube, Instagram, all of that. Um, my at is T E T E M A R I E E T T Marie. Follow me. This is Maya. You can follow me on Instagram. My regular page is X More Maya, and you can follow me on my makeup page, Face by Maya. And this is Michelle. You can follow me at American Dial with two underscores on Instagram. You know, it's Blake. Um, you can follow me, XOBlake underscore, and at ImpressedHeads.com. And this is Pillow Talk Tales. Bye-bye. Was it right on time? <laughs>